Good morning. Good morning. Still not a morning person. I didn't get much sleep. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> Who is it? I got breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's so sweet of you. Yeah, so yeah. You know, unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a rush. I got called in the work, emergency call on um, the situation. Just need me to help them with something. Me and my assistant, but sorry. <laughs> oh, um, are you leaving now? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I can't do it right now. Are you free later? I can give you a call. You are free, right? Sure. Come on, you're ready. Yes, I'm sorry for being so abrupt, but. That's fine. See you later. Thanks for breakfast. <laughs> You know, that, that wasn't convincing at all. You never were a good liar. Yeah. You know, that's more your forte than that, my thing. I think she really is. See, this whole Derek and Christian thing. I think it's a bad idea. It's not going to work. I don't want you. I mean, you need to stop making commentary about my life, what I choose to do, and who I choose to do it with. Last night, or whatever the fuck that was, that would not happen. Maybe. Maybe not. Jabril, <laughs> goodbye. All right, enjoy your breakfast. Too soon? Okay. Damn, you had to knock on for like 20 minutes. Where's your maid at? She you know, nobody's here. Like, everybody's gone. <laughs> Dang. What are you talking about? Look at my Mickey Mouse. I'm running errands. Oh, okay. That's what a boss bitch should do. Trying to run her own business. But, yeah. um, where's your brother? I don't know. Oh, he went to take Brandon to rehab. Oh, rehab. What you hear? When you listen to kicking or screaming, you little straight tracks like, oh, I want to stand, I want to stand. What? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Kiko, no, I was not. I just got here a couple minutes ago. Um, I guess I just stay. I just wait a while. How long can be? I don't know why are you waiting for Jabril. Damn, mind your business. Look, I don't want no beef. Please, you don't want this beef. You want it. It's enough going on already. It, it really is. But um, how are you feeling about? No, dropping a bomb on you. Oh, so you knew already? Uh, no. Keep up. I didn't know. How long did you know? Mm. Um, mm. I don't know. I just found Keep up. How long? I can't break the girl code. So. Are you on her side? Um, girl, what you think? That's my girlfriend. I'm talking about keeping a baby. I don't know my mom's I really don't like kids. So, I'm, I'm going to support her. 
I mean, it's not even a baby. It's like a fetus. So what though? Why everybody keeps saying that? It's not a baby. It's not a baby. Yes, it is. And it's mine. <laughs> Nobody ever asked me my opinion. Nobody ever asked me what did I want to do. Everybody's just like, it's her body. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. No, she can't. Okay, so what do you want to do? I want to keep it. What do you mean? And I kind of need your help with that. And how what? Trying to convince Mel to keep the baby. Convince, convince my girlfriend to keep the baby. Yeah, what's so hard about that? You don't think I'm going to make a good dad? Mm, let me think. You think you'll be the dad? A little sexy poppy chulo. Kiko, 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 Kiko. Poppy! Poppy! No, Kiko, I'm serious, though. I really want to keep this baby. Are you really serious? Hey, for real, for real? Dead ass. Go ahead! I mean, I'm just thinking, like, me growing up without a dad, I don't want that for my child. Oh, it's getting emotional. Don't do that. Kiko, please. I just really need you to put in a good word for me. Want me to help you again? Yes. Really? I mean, I know you've kind of been like my fairy godmother, but I just really, come on, please. At the Mason now, Mel, really? I know I'm asking for a lot. Okay. I'm going to talk to her. Yes. I am making no promises, though. But please just be that good bug in her ear. You really want me to cross my girlfriend because you want to have a baby? We had a friendship first. You trying to throw that in there? Really? Keep going. Oh. I'm going back upstairs. You, you oh. can wait around if you want. Nobody's here. The maids aren't here. Everybody's gone. So I mean, help yourself. I'm sure you won't. So I gotta serve myself? That's what I got maids for. I'm done. Ready? I'm just trying to mention this. Damn. Just everybody. Raymond's little cracked out ass in the rehab and shit. I'm in this. I am a mosa! Interesting. Nobody's to get me a drink. I'm so bored. Just waiting for me. I know I'm just gonna take. Like, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you just gonna sneak up on me like that? Why are you gonna say anything? Grinning? Hello? What's. I don't know. I didn't, I'm trying to figure out why you were here. Um, I was waiting on you. Oh, me? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm here. What, what you need? Um, I have some information that I need to tell you. More information you need to tell me. Yeah, okay. more. Do you think it's just me a little bit of information? <sighs> what is it, man, Kiko? Um, oh, by the way, Ma is alive. So that, that pop, Papa Finn crackhead, he was right. She's Why? Alive. How do you know you seen it? No, me and Mason had a, a creative discussion and he told me that she was alive. She'd been alive for a year. And um, she informed him that she had JJ. She had what? JJ, your son. But she lost him. And Mason knew that. Mason knew it, yeah. For quite some time now. He's just been holding the last secrets in there. He had a buddy of his. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is there more? No, that's it. That's all I know for right now until I find something else. Okay. Did you have anything else? To no, I didn't. I really didn't. I can really go. Oh. You don't want to know what's your friend? Oh, who's my friend? Never mind then. Okay. You're right. I'm going to stop this up. Okay. Let me tell you something. Well, you know, you seem like a good friend to your friends. I, I was good to myself. Well, so, this is what you need to do. You still put your hands on me. Yes, this is what you need to do because you need to get shook some sense. Huh? Look, look, look. I'm trying to be real with you. Uh, Find yourself some new friends. Okay. It's a whole new start. New path. Okay. New path. Yeah. New start. Yes. I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Yes. Please stop that. Yes. Thank you. Have Thank a you. Day. Bye. Hey. Hey. I need to talk to you about something. 
Okay. What's up? It's about me and me. What about her? I thought she was in Africa. She was up until a couple weeks ago. She came back because she found out she was pregnant. What? Wait. I thought you told me you weren't fucking this girl. What happened when we were just friends? Look, Jabra, I did not come down here for you to talk to me like I'm- What? Why are you acting like one? Look, the two of you do realize that you're living with family, right? Kids cost a lot of money. I mean, you have a job, but does she have something to do outside of modeling? I mean, that's not gonna hold up through the pregnancy. Oh wait, am I supposed to help take care of the shop? No, Jabra, shut the fuck up. If we decide to have the baby, I'm gonna take care of it. Where? When? In between blunts? In video games? Look, don't get mad at me because you were a fool being irresponsible when you were trying to get your life together. Nigga, me being a fool? You just took your husband to rehab. I mean, you didn't even know he was lying, cheating, hell, even being a junkie in front of your fucking face until it was too late. So guess what? Everything you do is not perfect. I never said I was perfect, but you bringing that up just showed your level of maturity. <laughs> Neither one of you are equipped to raise a child right now. I might not be now, but I will be. Fuck, I would never be a deadbeat dad like my dad walking out on me and mom. I would never do that to my child. Fuck, I don't even want her to have an abortion. Oh, well, unfortunately, it's her body, so you don't have to say so if she decides to do that. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'd be the best decision for the both of you. So I suggest Look, that you- at this point, Jabril, fuck your suggestions. Honestly, I'm not in your shadow no more. I'm my own fucking man. I can handle my own business with or without your help. You know what? At this point, you have no respect for me, so don't even fucking talk to me until you learn something. Hey. Hey. Did some uh, redecorating in here, huh? Is something wrong? A lot wrong. Can I help? You already helped yourself. I don't even look at you the same. Why? Why? Let's see. I, I know we're not together and you can date whoever you want. But why the fuck would you let Jabril set you up on a blind date? How do you even know him? Okay, it wasn't like that. He was just being a friend. A friend? Yeah. When did y'all become friends? We've been cool for a while. Cool for a while. Yeah. Wow. Hey, but you know I can't stand that scumbag. Do you not respect my feelings? I do. But we're not together anymore. He was trying to help me meet new people. Meet new people, my ass. I don't understand you. I don't see what me dating somebody has anything to do with you. A lot. Because Jabril was just doing it to get back at me. He wasn't being a friend to you. I don't think it has anything to do with you. It has everything to do with me. You don't know him like I know him. He's sneaky. And he can't be trusted. Okay, so did you call me over here so you could go on one of your bitch rants? Excuse me? Because if that's what this is about, I'm out of here. You don't control my life. Okay, go find another guy to control. Keyword. Man, you mean. And this isn't about me controlling your life. But do me a favor. Find friends that aren't attached to Jabril or Brandon. Get over it. All right, I did as soon as you slept with Adonis. Now you want to throw Adonis in my face. Get out, Jesus. This conversation is done. I'm out of here. Still nice, but uh, yeah. When are you gonna get some furniture in this place? As I told you downstairs, Julian is in New York, so how else can I help you? What is Julian in New York doing? I had him take a meeting at Lawrence Hampton, okay? Wait a minute, you sent a junior exec to meet with Lawrence? What made you do that? <laughs> Look, Julian isn't some incompetent kid, okay? is a natural acumen for business, one that's inherited, might I add. So I figured I'd give him a bit more responsibility, especially seeing as though he told me he was ready. Jabril, as CEO, you're supposed to know whether or not he's ready or not. And I don't think so. 
Well, I made the determination. I hired him, remember? So I know what he's capable of. Look, I have other things to attend to, okay? Like what? Well, for one, Ronnie is still alive. And to add insult to injury, I hear she's had Eve's son all this time. What? What? Hey there. Hey, Kristen. Cards. Good. So, I'm sorry about this morning. Don't be. And just to let you know, I'm not stupid, there. I know someone was there earlier. Someone was there, but I really wasn't expecting. I knew I shouldn't have showed up on the house. I was excited. I was looking forward to seeing you because I thought you weren't attached. I'm not attached. <laughs> it was really unexpected. And why would you make it clear that you wanted us to continue seeing each other when you were already sleeping with someone else? It's more complicated than I want to put on, but whatever that was, that was about closure. Closure from somebody that I never thought I was going to get it from. And can you confidently say it's over? I meant when I said about wanting to be happy with you. That's good to know. Because I meant what I said about honesty. So where did that leave us? You tell me. What's your brother the person you need to close it with? I think I got my hands. Your silence tells me all I need to know. <laughs> you heard what I said. Ronnie is alive. So I guess she um, faked her death. What in the hell is going on with the water in Easton? Everybody's able to resurrect themselves from the dead. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just, just nothing. I just, you know what? This bitch is alive. The whole time she had your son. Eve's son. You know, it doesn't matter. I need to make some phone calls. Uh, you don't get down to the bottom no, of no, right no, now. Nope, no, nope. I actually don't want you to do anything. It's because of you this whole mess got started in the first place, okay? I'll handle it. Are you kidding me? You gotta be you gotta be kidding me. What makes you think the board is gonna allow you to neglect your duties to, to handle your personal affairs? But it's not gonna happen. I'm not neglecting anything. They brought me on to clean up your mess, mm -hmm. and I did that. So your help is not needed. Okay. Fine. But you need to get yourself together. Because if you think they aren't watching you, you're crazy. <sighs> Gotta remember the same people that brought you on will be the same people that have you replaced. So good luck finding JJ. All right, Sean, so what's up? You called me over here, I'm here. I called you four hours ago, you just now showing up. <laughs> Sean, I'm not sitting around waiting for your phone calls. So I made time for you. I'm here. Bonnie Gani, what's up? When I first came to you, I told you I need to get an Easton and I need the money. Okay. This 60-40 deal is not working. I need more. Sean. If you want more money, what I can do for you is get you more clients. But that 60-40 thing, that's in some. Now, I don't know how negotiations go when you dealing with Coco, but when you're talking to daddy, 60-40 is what it is. So if you want more money, you what you really want is more clients. And that's it. I'm one of your top money makers out here. Yeah, top though. <laughs> Top, I mean, what you are is fresh meat, okay? 
what you are is a new face. You got a little hood boy swag, and you know they like that on Tuesdays. But on Wednesdays, they want them that little schoolboy. And on Thursdays, they might want like a businessman. You know, never know. These Johns, they, I can never keep up. They're not loyal. So, you're an option. And I connect dots. I create relationships. Okay? So you want more clients? Because that's what you're going to get. Right? So I think the personal relationship between us needs to get cut out. Oh. Immediately. If it's like that. <laughs> if that's what you want, Sean, that's fine too. Because all I did was give you an option. And that's what you are, an option. And I provided you an opportunity. And if that's not the opportunity you want no more, that's fine. Yes, my hands are behind my back. Don't come at me like that no more. Okay. I'm trying to be respectful because you're my boss. Sean. So. Uh, See your aunt got you out the basement. Uh, yeah. No, I'm paying for the petition treatment, yes. Uh -huh. Um, well, somebody needs to get out of here. We'll discuss it later. All right. Thanks. We need to talk. Well, I am glad you're here. I was actually about to listen to the demos and give you a call about them. I don't want to talk about those. We need to talk about Brandon. Uh, Brandon? What about him? Did you cheat on him, Jabril? Yes, but I don't understand why that's any of your business. Listen. Out of respect to your marriage and whatever you have with him, I've restrained myself. But the truth is, I never stopped loving you. Uh, Christian is not. Wait. I want you to know I was never trying to come between your marriage by asking you to work with me. I know your passion is music. And you told me you were happy, and all I ever wanted was for you to be happy. Look, oh, Christian, I loved you when we were together. We were young. And I will never forget the love that we share. Why can't we have that again? We're grown. And we know exactly what we want and what we don't. And it's obvious that Brandon isn't the man for you. Look, you knew me a long time ago. The man that sits right here now, you don't have a clue who he is. You're still the same Jabril. The same man on the inside. You still have a good heart. <laughs> yeah, that heart has grown very cold since then, Christian. Um, but, you know, you're still the same loving, honorable guy that I've known. But at this point, I know that you're way too good of a guy for me. I don't deserve someone like you, so. It's a pro. What the fuck are you doing here? How do you know him? So you're stalking me now? Stalking so me. How, how you know my ex? Keith, don't make yourself more important. Keith. Than what you want to be. My name is Kiko. Oh, no, let right him right. over here. I will slap your ass against that wall. Hold on, watch your freaking mouth. You're not going to say Sean, Sean, how, how did you, you know him? Protecting him? I'm a. Oh, Sean, let me find out you like he pussy. He? he? Really? He pussy? That's what you like. Really? You gonna... Is this why we having that conversation, Sean? I can't. Do... Sean. For this? Get him out. Are you, are you kidding me? That's what you get want. Him out. Yes, he wants me. <laughs> Yo, come on. This is my aunt house. house. This is my aunt this house. This is entertaining. I think it's time for you to I paid enough it. money for this to be your house. But you playing games with me. I think it's time for Wasting my fucking money. time. 40%? You could have been up in here. You you sleeping on a fucking air mattress. Asking me about money for this. This. I think this. it's time for you to go. Really? It's time for you to go. I'm not going to go. Oh, Sean, sure. I'll leave. It's up. Get the You're right. Out. You're right. Who is he? I Who thought I could give you an opportunity. He, he's my boss, Kiko. Boss? Yes. You want to work for him? I didn't Your know this boyfriend your works for me. This is interesting. Yes. My boyfriend. Mm. My your boyfriend. boyfriend. So this he is your leave. boyfriend. What? Mm. I like that. Ex-boyfriend. It doesn't matter. Your mind. Mm. Well, Sean, I guess you got a, a fucking um conundrum on your hands, right? So what are you going to do? You want to you take care of your personal business on my time? Or actually, you are you going to do business? Hmm? You was four hours late for the meeting. So what you going to do? Because I, I can leave. leave. Oh, I told please you Please do. And if I leave, so does your opportunities. So make a decision right quick. Because I don't got time for this. Handle that. Me or him. You got five seconds. I'll give, it, I'll give you that. Me my time. or him. Sean, fix it. Goodbye, Keith. 
My name is Kiko, so you need to get it. What did I tell you? Don't put your hands up. When I'm talking to my son, uh, I am talking to my son. I'm when not I'm your to son. You, I'm, I'm your daughter. Both of y'all back up. Back up. I'm going to leave. You are everything. Everything that I never wanted. It is because of you I never wanted any of children. It is because of you when I look at you. I'm so disgusted when I look at you. You should be disgusted I, with yourself. I want to be you. Get the, what did I tell you, huh? Back up. Chill. You are everything that I never wanted to be. Everything. I'm disgusted. You look disgusted. You are the reason I could wake up and throw the fuck up. Everything I hate about me, you embody. And I could. I don't want to. I could have went the rest of my life without never knowing what. I, I think it's time for you to get the fuck out. You're funny. Bye. Bye. Your fucking That's my father. Why are you working with him? I didn't know that, that was your father, Chico. We're gonna talk about this later. I, Sean. We're gonna talk about this later. What are you doing with him? I'm, 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 I'm working and I'm making money, Chico. How are you making this money? You, do not lie to me at all. If we're gonna have this conversation me. now, if you're gonna have something, you need to be honest with me. I'm gonna be honest with you, but we gotta have this conversation later. Do you really want to risk it all on a man that just cheated on his husband? Who wants revenge on so many things right now? Think about it. And, um, yeah, get back to me on that. But let me just get back to work because I think we're done here. Can we just. Yeah. Don't dismiss me. You know that Lord of the Manor Davenport bullshit doesn't work on me. You're the same man that came in charge and demanding that I leave Derek alone. Was it just because you wanted to jump back in bed with him? Um, are you upset that it was him and not you? I'm so sorry that I ever mistook you for the Jabril that I once been. I'm sorry I wasn't able to see that you become the kind of asshole who would be in two relationships simultaneously. I'm also sorry that I ever thought that there was chance that there could be anything between us again. And I'm even more sorry that I wasted my time thinking of you, praying for you, loving Are you. Are you done? Yeah. For good. Keep a lot that just happened. Uh, my aunt by the cajones. I gotta... I gotta... We gotta talk later. I don't care about your aunt coming home. You're gonna tell me the truth, or I'm gonna tell your aunt you up to no good. What do you mean I'm up to no good? There's nothing going on. I did not know that that was your father. Kiko. Really? What are you doing with my father? Kiko, I work for him. I told you that. What do you do? What? Tell, please tell me. What do you do? I'm, I'm listening. We. I told you that I was interested in flipping houses, and that's what he do. He. He. Renovates houses. Mm, interesting. Flip houses. Yeah, ripping up floors, putting counters and shit. I'm flipping houses. Oh. Kiko, how much faith do you have in me? Um, right now, I'm lives in that. Do you think I'm a little bit of a fool? But Kiko, you don't even know your father. Like, I don't like my father. And you think I'm dumb? You flipping houses? Really? Out of all people? My best friend was flipping houses. Now look at him. Really? I'm, I'm not your best friend. You know what? I don't care. If you don't tell me the truth we are done do you hear me keep on telling you the truth is not that certain i did not know that that was your father i don't care i don't care now if you want me to stop working for him i can do that but i'm not lying to you i sean when you want to tell me the truth Kiko, you know how to really... reach me Kiko. and find me Kiko. i am done with this conversation because i don't believe you flipping houses what flipping eastern hmm i'm not done. so what do you think i'm all here doing won't you tell me? I'm just, asking you. Tell me the truth. I'm walking out right now. Kiko, I just told you the truth. That's your truth. Kiko, 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 Kiko. Why? Why are you putting your hands on me? I just want to talk to you. Why? That's all I'm doing, I promise you. Okay, okay. I, we can uh, talk about this later because my son no. is about to come. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about that at all because I don't believe you flipping houses. So let me go. Please. Tell 
Who are you? Uh, the name's Lieberg. Are you Mason? Uh, Barney said our friend Mason is trying to hack into his expert. Are you trying to let the whole damn neighborhood know? Chief. Wait, wait. You're not. You're not Sean. You're not Sean. You gotta go. Uh, I know I'm not Sean. Coco sent you. Off me. You touching me, bro? And like I said, Coco sent you to replace Sean. I don't care if Coco sent you. I told her I wanted Sean. You're not Sean, so you gotta go. So what's the problem? Whatever he could do, I could do better. I'm not into little boys. All right. I'm not 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 into into old ass men. Nigga, I'm not fucking old. Then why the fuck is you calling Coco? You look too good to be looking for sex. Why the fuck does it matter? I right, just just take your fucking clothes off if you hear. So you're not into kids, but you want a little boy to take his clothes off in your living room. We can't go somewhere more intimate. Watch your fucking mouth, all right? You want to make some money? What up? Only way you can stay and make some money is if you let me call you Derek. <laughs> Who the fuck is there? Doesn't fucking matter, alright? Just let me call you dear. Okay. As long as you got my money, you can call me whatever you want to. That makes you comfortable? Sure does. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna kill Ronnie! That's quite unnecessary, sir. That'll land you right in the Eastern Penitentiary as well. I don't think orange is your color. Excuse me. Have a seat, sir. Sure. What an exquisite domicile you have here. This is nice. Thank you, I think. What is your name again? Lieberg. Thaddeus Lieberg. You can just call me Lee. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit parched. Would you have a glass of water? Oh, water. Yeah. Really, thanks. <sighs> what did I get myself into? Here you go. Thanks. Did you know that by the time you feel thirsty, you've already lost 1% of the moisture in your body? Fascinating. I didn't know that. Anyway, this is the computer that I need you to get into, not my iPad. Sorry, thought that was it. But I already did my research on you, Mr. Hawkins. You own the mannequin factory, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And your inspection date is right around the corner. Your yes. spinning account is mighty low, actually. How would you know that? Uh, I'm really good at what I do. Listen, I don't need you hacking into my shit. Go ahead, just check your account. Go ahead, check it. My account? What's wrong with my account? Nothing's wrong with it. You put a thousand dollars in my account? You're welcome. Can this be traced back to me? I have a business to protect. I cannot be, I can't go to jail. Relax, relax. I also pushed back your inspection date. That is untraceable. I mean, I could just take it right back out if you like. No, that won't be necessary. Let's get into this computer. Yeah? I, I have to see what's in here. Sure. Well, Ms. Hawkins, strap in, get ready for a wild ride. Arooga! I'm gonna need a drink for this one. Excuse me. Did you know that liquor is an depressant? Maybe if you clean the sauce up, you wouldn't be stumbling. Nigga, stop talking about my fucking house, all right? All right, hurry the fuck up. What you trying to rush for and you done paid good money? Nigga, ain't paid you shit yet. If you don't pay me, I'm leaving. Okay, Daddy, what you trying to do? What's wrong? Are you sure you're good? Like, is this what you want? Yes, I'm good, man. I'm good. Well, you must not be attracted to me or something, because you keep pushing me away. You're not Derek. I'm Derek for right now. Really? Yes. How about you lay down and let me give you a back massage? Make you feel better. Thank you. Mr. Hart had a very elaborate system set up here. 
I mean, it's no surprise. He was an excellent photographer. Maybe he just wanted to protect the privacy of his clients. Uh, Ronnie said he was your former lover. Uh, how long were you two together? You can think this nervous system depressant as to why I'm even telling you all this, but we were together a few years ago and we reconnected. But he committed suicide. Did you know that somebody commits suicide every 16.2 seconds? Listen, Lee, Lieberg, whatever your name is, your little fun facts, they're very annoying and rude, might I add. I had enough of them. I just want you to get into this computer, please. My apologies, Mr. Hawkins. My social ineptitude is the bane of my existence. We see. I guess the appropriate response would have been sorry for your loss. Get back to work. Got it. Holy Naruto. Is that porn? Porn. He's a man after my own heart. Thickness prevails. I just Don't get any... Enough. I did move your hand. Why are you facing the wall? You gonna turn around? Oh uh, yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm so glad to see you, dear. I'm glad to see you too. I need you to take off the shirt so I can give you a massage. Alright. Why do you think you will ever want to see me again? Why would you think that? I don't know, man. I'm just glad you're back. And I'm glad I'm back with you. Mm. Oh, it feels so good, dude. I'm glad you think so. I just feel so tense lately. Well, how can I make you loosen up? You know what I like, baby? Refresh my memory. You kind of aggressive. Shut up, you missing, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know we don't got much time. I need you to take the show. Shut the fuck up, right? Just turn over, right? Take the show. It's gonna cost you extra. You wanna get fucking paid? How did you get into this business anyway? Well, I've pretty much been an outsider all my life. Uh, Good thing. While in college, I hacked the security system for fun. Oh. It used to give me such a rush. And it was the first time that I was actually noticed by my peers. Uh, I was subsequently expelled. And a little later, a student came to me about his father's gambling operation. Let's just say it was very profitable for everybody involved. I'm sure. How did you meet Ronnie? Well, after that, I was the go-to guy for a bunch of shady types. Uh, you might call them boosters. <laughs> and she Go figures. Ronnie was one of the only people that was kind to me. Ronnie was kind to you? Yeah, she never treated me any different. Mm. I was actually shocked when she called. Hadn't heard from her since she had me get a bunch of supplies for a salon. Let me guess. Did she pay you? 
That would be a negative, Mr. Hawkins. To poor fucking Riley. Uh, Mr. Hawkins, I might have to take this back to the lab with me. Um, no, 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 no. I got a lot of supplies that I need, and it'll really help me crack this machine. But you're supposed to be the best in the business. Why can't you just do this now? Oh, I am the best. Let me show you. I'll be back. Trust me. I'll come back. Uh, I don't know if I can trust you just taking the computer. Like I, I don't know you. I'll be back for this plumpness and everything here. And oh, second I dog, promise take, you. Take, take the computer. Just. All right. What time will you be back? Uh, around eight or nine. Fine. Thanks. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. What am I getting myself into? Look, you ain't gonna keep fucking calling me Derek. If you wanna get the fuck paid or what? Fine. You can call me what? Ever you want to, just as long as I get one. It's more like you did. I really did miss you, though. I missed you too. The clock is ticking. I need you to take these off. like from the moment I saw you, I, I, I was just madly in love. You, you just look so lost, and I know what it's like to be alone and lost in this world. Who left you alone? My mother. She left me. Only, only person I had was my grandma. Why'd she leave you with your grandmother? She didn't believe me about her fucking boyfriend. I tried to tell her what he did to me and my brother, and she slapped me and said I was fucking crazy. Why would she do that? I mean, you seem like a headache, but not crazy. She said I was out of control and she couldn't control me, but I was a child. Like, I, I couldn't help it. She said I was making them stories to hurt her. I mean, maybe she felt like that. I had issues with my mother, too. You got me now, though. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not the fuck okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck your problem is, but I can either make you nut, or you can give me my money and I can fucking leave. You're not going fucking nowhere, right? How do you fucking leaving me, dude? All you want is my fucking money. You're not going anywhere. You're not going nowhere. Look, man. Can I just please get my cash so we don't have no more issues and I can go? Soldier, bro. What do all the pleasure of this visit? Well, I think we have some catching up to do. Yeah, catching up. Oh, right. Congratulations on being an uncle. Yeah, thanks. You too. Um, how is she doing, by the way? Melanie's fine. Um, I'm sure she'll be better once it's all over. So she's definitely not going through with the purpose. So she's saying. I mean, well, like I told Jarrell, if she wants to have an abortion, it's her right to do that. I mean, they're in no place to have a child right now. You never lied about that, but Jarrell should have thought about that before they decided to have sex. This is true, but it's going to be her choice. Yeah. Either way you look at it, it's a mistake, but it's, it's their mistake. Yes, one that I tried to prevent. What does that mean? <laughs> it's all irrelevant now. I guess we just have to deal with whatever decision that they make. 
Melanie's going to have support regardless. Jarrell will too. Good. Because he's not going to have my sister out here struggling with no child. He will not. I will personally make sure of that. But um, something tells me he's up for the responsibility, so I'm not worried in that department. Good. Well, it's settled. Yes. Um, the intervention. I wanted to catch you up on that. Yeah, well, let's have a seat. Since we having such a hard time, I think I should probably go. You're not going no fucking way. So what I gotta do so I can leave? Just load it there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. You like that? Yeah, I like that. I want you like you. Yeah, take that shit. What's wrong, baby? What you, what you doing right now is a lot, bro. What you gonna do? I really wanna leave. I'm not going no fucking way. You want is my fucking money, right? So how the fuck you want? You always leaving me. You're not going nowhere, dude. You're mine. Okay. Really? Yeah. You want to stay? Yeah, I'm going to stay, but just let me go do what I got to go do. And, and I'll come back. I'll come back, I promise. I promise? D Derek, I, I really need you. I need you too. Alright, you, you need money or anything? I got I got some money. I just gotta find my wallet. I, I promise you I'll I'll give you I'll give you money. So what you need. Yeah, I need it. Alright. So so when are you coming back? As soon as I can, I promise, okay? Trust me. I love you, dear. I love you too. I love you. So, I'm gonna put my clothes on. I'm gonna get the cameras. Do that kind of shit. It's downstairs, alright? Okay. So, about the intervention. I tried to get back here as soon as I could, but my schedule wasn't allowed. No, it was, I get it, it was very last minute, but it needed to get done. How's he doing? Well, I dropped him off to an inpatient rehab facility, and doctors tell me he's responding well to the treatment. Okay. Well, what's the address? What's the visiting hours? He actually can't see anyone right now. It's like a procedure for the first week or so. Um, so when he's able to see visitors, I'll get you the information. Okay. Good. I can't even believe that he would allow that to happen. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. But um, nothing I can do about that now. His recovery is the most important thing. So. Yeah, you're right. But um, going back to the intervention... Uh, some things happened. Brandon was very defensive, to say the least, and uh, dropped some shocking things. Uh, one of which, that Ronnie is still alive? Yes. Yes, she's still alive. I can't believe he would throw that in Kiko's face. That was not the time nor the place to tell her or anyone that. Yeah. I, I mean, I get it. I get why it was important to keep it a secret. I mean, the legal ramifications alone was enough to keep it hush-hush. I mean, who wants to explain her faking her death to the authorities or the insurance company? I mean, you know, Brandon did mention something about a life insurance shit. Look, I told her that I don't want nothing to do with her. Wow. Okay, um... Kiko, afterwards, did come back and tell me that, um... She had some information regarding Eve's son. She what? Is it true? Yes. 
It's true. Look, look, look. I, I told her that I didn't want nothing to do with any of this mess. No, I get it. I know where your loyalty lies. But if you truly want your hands washed up the situation, I need your help in something. Help doing what? I need you to get some information from her regarding the child. Well, I can tell you right now, she does not know where he's at. Okay, but I'm sure she has some information on him. I just want to be done with this whole situation. I, don't, I just want out. All right, then let's set this up. Let's be clear. I'm not putting her in harm's way. No one said that. Okay. So, what did you have in mind? Yo, this the seat taken, homie. Does it look like it? I just had some questions. I don't want to assume nothing. You feel me? So um. Are you a regular here? Nah, no, not really. You? Nah, no, I just need to come out. This fucking day I just had, man. Oh, say one thing is another. <laughs> Tell me about it. Just need to give me a stiff one. You look like somebody I saw here before, though. That's why I'm asking. I mean, man, I came here probably once or twice before. It's a cool spot. Yeah. Nice little chill spot. You know, when you in town, if you come, you come. If you don't, you don't. Come get a little drink, a little shot, and if you no harm, no foul, you're done. Pretty good. Yo, let me get a shot of what he got. Oh my God, so much shit going on, man. Baby mama drama, fucking <sighs> retraining bitches. Damn, it's like that? Man. Yes, it's like that. You sound like you had my kind of day. Oh man, it's like, I look at her now and I feel like I don't even know why I started fucking with this bitch in the first place. Man, sometimes some relationships uh, push you to that point. She got a smart ass mouth. And at first I found that shit sexy, but then we didn't work out. Now I'm, I'm trying to see my son. She kept me from my son for so many fucking years. I'm popping up, calling on the phone. And now I go meet my son and I don't even... All I could think was, who the fuck are you? I don't even know who this... A whole total different person came out. Like... Yo, let me get that shot, please. That's crazy, man. But I mean, we sound like we sound having the same problems. I mean, my baby mama drama, she, girl pregnant. She talking about getting rid of it, but man, I'm like, I don't want that shit to happen. Thank you. I've had a life with no dad. Now I don't want my son to go through the same thing or daughter, honestly. I just think it's just crazy females. Ah, homie, I don't know. If you thinking about having a kid with this chick, you might want to ask yourself, like, is this really the chick I want to mess with for the rest of my fucking life? Like, that's what you got to think about. Because if you can't deal with the shit she giving out, like, you can't tell these bitches what to do with their bodies. You just can't. They all liberated now. Now they running companies. Now they trying to take all your money. And now they trying to make your life a living hell. Like, you can't tell these chicks what to do. I can't. My girl ain't that bad, but I mean, Damn, you make it seem like it's a job. Homie, listen to me. There's no such thing as getting off. When you want them checks, man, it's always work. You get off work to do more work. Yeah, but I mean, that's my child. I mean, to me, a life is a life. And no life is more valuable than the next that it should be taken away. I mean, I, 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 hey, I get it. I totally understand. But shit change when you bring that baby into the to the whole mix. Once she has that baby, it's like something come over them like they got a hold over you. So now they make the decisions. Now they telling you when you can and when you can and what you can do and what you can't do. Damn, man, you sound like... You're not doing enough. This ain't enough. It's not enough. Grow up. Mm-hmm. Shit, are you living my life too? Homie, look. Just look. You, you young. You seem like you might be a little fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Like you got a good head on your shoulders, man. Thanks, I think man. you might you might want to think about it. This is some forever type shit. Like uh, this is just it's crazy. Uh, look, cheers to a better life. To a better life. You know, I got a spot that's not too far from here. You know what I mean? You want to chill out for a little bit after we leave here, you know? Nigga, I don't go like that. Oh, no disrespect, homie. I was just trying to see if you want to chill, get another drink, you know? But no harm, no foul, like I said. Yo, um, thanks for the talk, but I'm going to get up out of here. Okay, bro. Well. It's nice meeting you. What's your name? Clint. Nice to meet you. Be safe. You have a good one too. You want another drink or something? Or you... Nah, I'm good, bro. Just one bell. All right, bro. I'll see you around, though. You're back a lot earlier than I expected. Yeah, major developments, Mr. Hawkins. What did you find? Well. I found some correspondence between him and a Jay Anderson. Does that ring a bell? Jabril Anderson, they were friends. Okay, so around last summer, there was a large deposit made in Mr. Hart's account, $100,000 to be exact. Last summer. He did photography for their wedding, but $100,000? I don't know, because I also found this. It's deleted files. It's his last email. Chabro paid me to come back and make you fall in love with me all over again. He wanted revenge for you keeping that kid from him. I wanted out and he threatened to destroy my life. I had no choice. To know the man that Broke your heart all over again. It's too much for me to bear? In the name of Goku. This is some deep shit. It all makes sense now. I mean, I, it all makes sense. I totally get how you have guys driven to the brink of madness. What? Get out! Get, get, get out! Get out! Just go! Thank you! This motherfucker! I just, I just wanted to get He's you. He's so evil, and I knew it. I knew it. He almost got away with this. He almost, get out. I mean, thank you. If you ever need to reach me again, here's my car. Day, night, even later night. Stop, just stop. You helped me, but just go, go, go. Oh, it makes fucking sense. Farewell, Mr. Hawkins. Thank you. And uh, did you know that... No, I didn't know. I know this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. No, look, I know. Can you stop yelling? I need you right now. It's important. Just come to my house. All right, all right, I got it. Just know that you owe me for this shit and you owe me for that shit earlier. Dealing with that weird ass fruitcake that you had me go meet up with? Man, I'm ready to be done with this shit. As soon as Kiko get here, I'm going to say what the fuck you told me to say. Look, man, I'm still surprised and shocked that you her father or his father. A lot of this shit is weird, but here she comes. So I'm going to call you afterwards. Yeah. All right. Bye. Ooh, Hey, what the fuck are you doing here in front of my doorstep? And now you in my fucking house. What do you want? I'm not welcome. No, you're not. Why would you think that? Again, why are you here? I'm here looking for Sean. Sean? Why the fuck are you looking for Sean? What do you want with Sean? Sean owes me money. 
Wait, hold up. Oh, you money? A teenager or some money? I find that hard to believe. Well, why is it so hard to believe when you kicked them out? After after my uncle kicked me out. <laughs> I mean, what you thought we was doing? You think I was going to fucking take him back and bring him back into my house? Well, that's why he was with me, doing what he had to do to survive. Wait, with you to survive? What the fuck you mean, with you? That's why we work together. It's not just because we date or talk. That shit went downhill a long time Wait, ago. work together? So you fucking flipping houses too? You into real estate? I'm into selling dicks. And I, I can't say the same thing. Hold the fuck up. Show up. So y'all prostitutes? That's a tacky way of, you know, putting it. Tacky? You are tacky. Well, your man tacky too. Hold oh, no. up. So you here in my motherfucking house telling me my ex-boyfriend is a prostitute selling himself. He ain't tell you? No, the fuck he didn't. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You are, and you fucking ruining my day right now. So I think you need to leave. I will leave as soon as I find out where Sean is so I can get my- I don't know where the fuck he is, and I don't care where the fuck he's at. Get the fuck out of my face right now, or I'm about to fuck you up myself. You don't fucking stop. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. I at miss all, you, miss me. Yeah. It was nothing between me and you. At all. So you, I think you need, don't touch me. Get the fuck away from me. Before you came to East End, man, Sean was in a happy place. Now you just mess it up with your thoughtish ways, being a whore and a slut. You are nasty. You beneath me. You a scum of the earth. I don't want to see your face again. Now get the fuck out of my it's funny, but I remember when I first came around, you was just as receptive as your man. And I didn't receive it. You didn't. That because way. I didn't choose to give it. So before you go pointing fingers, maybe you should be mad at yourself and your nigga before you get mad at me. Because if you was doing your job right and still cutting them checks, he wouldn't be out here being a nasty slut prostitute. Get the house. Like me. So, next time you might want to do things different or choose better. I'm going to ask you again. Get the fuck out! As soon as you now, can, I, I don't want a hug. Don't I'm touch me. Why are you still trying to touch me? I swear to God, I'm, I'm about to stop the shit out you. Maybe you just slap your man. Get the fuck out I'll talk now. to you later, okay? You, you will never see me or talk to me. I'll be your Get girl. the fuck out! Believe like Sean is a fucking prostitute. What the fuck is going on? Oh, this. Oh, I can't deal with this. I need to call Mason. Oh, what? Oh. It's done. Uh, I'll tell her what you wanted me to tell her. I. Your auntie is so nice. What the fuck is you doing in my house? I told her how I was looking for you and trying to drop your money off and share your money and just let me right upstairs. Thank you, I found them. Thank you so much. I'm Michelle. Thank you. Get the fuck out of my house, man. We got unfinished business. We don't have no more business. No, so you could with your 60, 40 example. I was going to make sure. You know, when I left, everything was such a mess. You got to like that. What did you say? And then... You was just so fucking disrespectful. No, and what did you just ask me about Keith? Her name is Kiko. <laughs> and I'm not disrespecting my house. I'm not gonna go Let me you. tell you something. Her name is Keith Richardson. Get the fuck off my bed. <laughs> when I'm talking to you, you don't talk, man. That's your fucking problem. Let's not get too loud, though. I don't want Auntie to hear what her nephew's doing to make that good money. You gotta pay that rent, right? And I don't want to talk too loud because then Kiko might find out that you is a hoe. So what you gonna do? You wanna talk quiet or you wanna talk loud? Because sometimes in the shadow, it gets so loud in that closet, right? Mm. And you keep testing me and testing me. How are we gonna bind that tone? I got an idea. Since you wanna run your fucking mouth so much. Why are you doing this? I want you 
want you to use your mouth. That's all. Why are you, why are you here? Because I want to be. And I go where I'm not wanted, when I want. I make the rules, and that's what you don't get to understand. So now, I'm gonna let you understand it. Come here. See, you've been running your mouth. What do you and now mean? I want you to use it. Mm. I'm not sucking your dick. Oh, you're gonna suck daddy's dick. Because you know why if you don't? If you don't suck my dick, just like I said, your auntie's gonna know what you do in your spare time. Kiko's gonna find out how you learn how to suck dick like that. Everybody's gonna know your business. And I do mean everyone. It's just live in the closet. Mm, 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 mm. Don't look so miserable. You're gonna like this. I mean, training is hard. Sometimes training is hard. That's all I'm doing. I'm just training you. Getting daddy's little bitch right. You see, that's what happens when you run your fucking mouth, right? Open up. Open up. Yes, there you go. Come on. There you go. Oh, there you go. Open your fucking throat. Open your mouth. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Watch your fucking teeth, all right? Come on. There you go. Oh, fuck. There you go. Open your fucking throat. Hey. Like I said, wash your fucking teeth. Ah, oh, there you go. See, just like I taught you, boy. Let me fuck your throat. Let me fuck your throat. Mm-hmm. See, you shut the fuck up when I say shut up. You don't gotta use your throat. You don't like it? Yeah. I want you to think about that next time I fucking tell you something. You don't fucking talk back. Get off me. You don't deserve to suck my fucking <coughs> Like I said, I call the shots and I make the fucking rules. Now, <coughs> when I tell you to do something, you do it. When I tell you to shut the fuck up, you shut the fuck up. And 60-40 is what it is, closet boy. <coughs> don't worry, I'll let myself out. Auntie, I hope it wasn't too loud. I'm leaving now. Can I at least get a hello, or are you still being an asshole? Okay, hello. I need you to read these emails. I don't know what you want me to look at. Nasty ass attitude. What am I looking at? Read the emails, please. Look at the timestamps. This is the Donis's computer. This is the original email. Which further proves how much of a fucking snake Jabril is. And to think I almost had a fucking mental breakdown because of this. I have to admit, I never thought that Jabril was that cold-blooded and vindictive. I told you Jabril could not be trusted. It's always an ulterior motive with him. Uh, uh, Mason, I'm sorry, but why are you showing me this? I'm showing it to you because I... <sighs> what? I trust you. And, and what? I can't deal with this hot and cold anymore. Look, it's not about us right now. Jabril sat and looked me in my eyes and blamed me for Adonis' death. That bastard walks around this town and just does everything with no repercussions because he's a Davenport. He gets away with everything. He won't get away with this. I want him dead.
Can I come in for a minute? Soldier girl is your house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry first. Uh, look, you just gotta know that I just want the best for you. Look, I am proud of you that you, you know, you know your mistakes and you're learning from them and you're trying to change your life for them. So. Thanks. But, I mean, I gotta admit, I wouldn't be able to do all of this without you, so. Look, I now know that you are the only person that's really in my corner that I can count on. I mean, from day one, you had my back, even though, you know, we didn't know each other like that. So I do value our bond and that's something I don't want in myself. I mean, Jabril, what can I say with brothers? I'm always going to have your back regardless of what happens. And I know a lot has been going on lately and it's been rough for you. So I'm just going to say I apologize on the behalf of me and my mistakes that I've done. And from now on, you're just going to get my support, less judgment. I'll try not to be too judgmental. I'll let you, I guess, handle your thing. I trust you to do that, but I'm here, you know, if you need help, whenever. I got you, you know. Well, look at you. Big Brother Davenport. Mm -hmm. Ain't all sappy and shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, bro. More video games. Nice. Yeah, this is actually the new one that just came out. Do you want to play with me? Come on, you got to. Mm, no, I, I, don't, I don't play I games. I promise you. No, 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 you know I don't play games. I have business to attend to. Oh, uh, we know, we know. Big Brother Davenport, CEO. You can just play a little bit with me. Come on, I mean, it's going to take your mind off of a lot. No, I'll let you into that. Tell me about it. I'll live through you. Gotcha. Suit yourself. Mason, do you hear what you're saying? You've got a lot to lose here. What about your family, your business? Are you out of your fucking mind? No. This is the most sane decision I've ever made in my life. Look at Brandon. Still out on drugs? I know it's because he's with that cold-blooded asshole that tried to ruin me. I actually thought that I was responsible for a grown man taking his life. I was so low and full of despair. I actually thought about joining Adonis. Do you hear yourself? I don't think you could kill a man, Mason. You're right. I'm not killing anybody. But I want you to find me somebody that will. I'll do whatever's required. All right, what you're asking is a bit extreme. Extreme? I'm not asking. He tried to destroy my life, Jesus. He has to die. Maybe there's another way. There is no other way. And if you love me, like you say you do, you'll do this for me. Give me a few days. I'll see what I can do.